Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let us understand 15 differences between plant cell and animal cell within 5 to 10 minutes. Let's begin with the similarities. Both plant cell and animal cell are eukaryotic cell. That means with a defined nucleus where the genetic material is surrounded by a nuclear membrane, then also with well-developed membrane-bound organelles like chloroplast, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. Now the question is why the cell structure is different. Majority of the differences can be attributed to the difference in mode of nutrition. As we know, plants are autotrophs or can synthesize its own food by photosynthesis. Therefore, there is no need of movement in search of food. Rigidity is a key concern as far as plants is concerned. Whereas for animal cell, it is heterotrophic, it should move for food. Therefore, flexibility is a key component in the structure of animal cell. Now let us understand the difference. Plants are with a cellulosic cell wall. Whereas in animals, cell wall is absent. The outermost layer is the plasma membrane. As cell wall is present, plant cells are fixed in shape, whereas animal cells are flexible because of a flexible outer plasma membrane. Plant cells are large in size and the cells are approximately 10 to 100 micrometer in size in the case of plant cell, whereas animal cell is comparatively small in size with a size range of 10 to 30 micrometers. In plants, a special type of organelle called plastids are present. Plastids are semi-autonomous double membrane bound organelles that is involved in synthesis and storage of food. Chloroplast is a plastid that is involved in photosynthesis whereas ameloplast is another plastid that is involved in storage of starch whereas chromoplasts are there that is involved in storage of pigments. Plastids are absent in the case of animal cells. And the fifth difference is, there is a large central vacuole in the case of plant cell. This vacuole has a prominent role in making this cell turgid. Whereas in the case of animal cells, vacuoles are present often very small. Difference number six, nucleus are located in the periphery of a cell in the case of a plant cell. Vacuole occupies the central position, whereas in animal cell, nucleus are often at the center, and it is also the largest organelle present inside an animal cell. In plant cell, vacuole is the largest organelle. Next difference is centrosome is absent in the case of plant cell, whereas centrosome is present in the case of animal cell. Centrosomes are cellular structures that serves as microtubule organizing centers that is often made up of two centrioles in the case of animal cells that is involved in the formation of spindle fibers during cell division. In plant cells, even though centrosome is absent, microtubule organizing center is there to organize microtubule formation and regulation of chromosome movement during cell division. A typical structure like centrosome is absent in plant cell. Difference number eight is lysosome is absent in plant cell, whereas lysosome is present in animal cells. Lysosomes are membrane-bound organelles containing digestive enzymes that is involved in the degradation of lipids, proteins, etc. The role of lysosome is carried out by the vacuole which contains digestive enzymes. Difference number nine Glyoxisome is present in plant cell, whereas absent in animal cell. Glyoxisomes are organal that is present in germinating seeds and it contains enzymes for glyoxylate pathway or it is involved in the conversion of lipids to sugar, especially present in germinating seeds. Then plasmodesmata is present they are fine intercellular connections or cytoplasmic strands that connects adjacent cells and through that channel molecules can pass between cells. In animal cell, in the place of plasmodesmata, there are gap junctions and desmosomes. Gap junctions are fine intercellular connections or channels that allows regulated passage of molecules between cells. Whereas desmosomes are intercellular junctions 
providing strong adhesion between adjacent cells. Difference number 11 is reserve food is starch in the case of plant cell whereas it is glycogen in the case of animal cell. Twelfth difference is anastral spindle fibers are present in plant cell whereas amphiastral spindle fibers are present in animal cell. Let us understand it better. In the case of plant cell there is no syndrosome therefore asters are absent. They are star shaped structures that forms around each pair of centrioles during cell division. So that is that structure is absent in the case of plant cell. In plant cell microtubule organizing center is involved in positioning of spindle fibers during cell division. In animal cell it is called as amphiastral as two asters are present on both poles. In plant cell it is called as anastral as asters are absent in the case of plant cell. Difference number 13. Cytokinesis in plant cell is by cell plate method whereas cytokinesis in animal cell is by furrowing or cleavage formation. Let us see the difference. Cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm at the end of cell division. In the case of animal cell, cytoplasmic division is by the formation of a contractile ring which is made up of actin. This ring constricts or this pulls this plasma membrane to the inside thereby causing a constriction making a cleavage or furrow that deepens and finally separates the cells into two. In the case of plant cell, there is a rigid cell wall. Therefore, cell plate method happens during cytoplasmic division. Golgi vesicles loaded with cell wall materials are deposited at the center during the process of cytokinesis. Later, it joins together forming a cell plate and finally causing the separation of cells into two. Or in plant cell, cytokinesis is by the formation of cell plate. Difference number 14. Plant cell can synthesize amino acids, vitamins, etc. Whereas animal cells cannot synthesize all amino acids, vitamins, etc. And final difference is, if a plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, there is no lysis because of the presence of cell wall. Let us see what happens if a plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution. Hypertonic means the concentration is lower compared to this plant cell. Therefore, water enters into the plant cell by osmosis and the cell becomes turgid. As there is a cell wall, there won't be any lysis. If an animal cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, water enters into the animal cell by osmosis. As there is no cell wall, cell bursts after some time. And animal cells also lacks contractile vacuole as in the case of protis that is meant for removing excess water. When an animal cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, it undergoes lysis or it bursts. Hope you are clear. If you know any other difference, please add that in the comments. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your attention. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.